to make eye contact and they'll be like, oh shit, she's crazy. about to take y'all on a cute little ride through uh, Chinatown. It's, um, it's probably my favorite little route I love to take for work. Yeah, this, uh, this bike lane is super cool. I really like um, the fact that like when you hit, I think it's Delancey, it kind of ends up being like, a, like its own little path. It's separated from the street. You might hear me singing a lot. I'm listening to my own tunes. how it kind of turns into this separate lane. It's super sick. You always gotta make eye contact and they'll be like, oh shit, she's crazy. So yeah, this is uh, the Chinatown part. It could get crazy down here though because these fucking chinos don't give a fuck. They will fucking jaywalk. They really don't care. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I really like this fucking route, man. Especially like when the sun's setting or going down, it looks so sick. This is probably my, my favorite, most quickest way to get to Water Street would be definitely Allen to East Broadway to St. James. Like, look at this. This is fucking gorgeous. Fucking sun. God damn. Do I love New York City, y'all? I'm gonna get lost in Fight Eye for a second. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Ah! Oh! Oh, she got it, y'all! <laughs> and here we are! on the west side from the east. It's probably like, um, I can cut through downtown pretty fast now. I've never been that uh, swifty until I really started learning fight eye. I remember, let's see, back in 2015, my first messenger job. <laughs> I didn't know the city for shit. But I promise you, my dispatcher loved to send me, woo, loved to send me downtown so I can get fucking lost. But yeah, this is church. They just built all this new shit. It's super awesome. Super cute to take pictures of. So windy. So yeah, this is, um, we literally just went from over to the deep east, 
uh, from the deep east, uh, pretty much, over to the west. They finally finished this fucking cool residential building here. It takes really nice photos. <laughs> Super photogenic. With these new white bars and shit, I always have to um, be mindful. <laughs> I'm so used to tiny ass bars that can allow me to squeeze. But because of this, I use my brain more, <laughs> slightly. Whew. I'm like sweating and crying off all my makeup. <laughs> sweating and crying <laughs> all of this shit off Woo. that was a cute little like downtown um loop that i love to do for work <laughs> luckily uh we have clients that are like all in that area so over time i think it took me like four months with this new company to um to figure out the kind of route that works best for me, you know, like w without getting stuck in a lot of lights. Because that's so important with work, is that anytime you hit a light, it's always best to take the next left or next right, you know what I mean? Like, so you don't get stopped. Um, I think I learned that over the years of being a messenger. Granted, I've only been a messenger for like three years, but, three, four years, but, um, whew, but uh, after three, three years of working, four years of working, I realized like, there's so many awesome ways you can like not be stopped at a light, you know? I always try to tell people like, especially with alley cats, you know, like, um, I don't ever, ever try to take straight avenues when I race alley cats because chances are you're gonna have to run a lot of lights and risk getting hit. So I usually like to just salmon. Salmoning is like probably something that I've learned over the years <laughs> that helps and works and it's also super fun to salmon like <laughs> just the word sounds awesome but to be honest anytime I work like um a shit rain day I just look around me and then I immediately feel crazy grateful <laughs> I used to always think bike lanes were death traps <laughs> and I refuse I refused to ride in bike lanes before, um, but I think now I really can see how um, fortunate we are because there's so much traffic nowadays. With wide bars like mine, it's not easy to get through. So bike lanes are like my savior. This is a this is a cool cut if you got to get like to East Street or something. Um, but it's always really dark on this street at night, so. Just look alive, that's all. I love how we're just catching all these green lights. It's so cute. <laughs> I love how uh, my witchy powers are working. Oh, she coming through, y'all. I'm usually a fucking bitch with my bell. <laughs> you know, it's, it beats yelling at people. Yo, these buses are wild, man. They drive as if they're not giant ass buses. It's crazy. The way buses drive are really scary. I only say that because I was actually run over by a fucking car because I have a bus. Buses don't give a fuck, man. They don't look, they don't give a fuck about anybody's life. 
but being on time to their stupid bus stop. Those people really live a, a miserable life because they're always so angry at the world. No one told you to do that job, boo-boo. This is like my ideal work route if I had it my way. <laughs> Although as messengers, we don't get that. Oh, I had 16 seconds. We can, we can make this. Yeah? <laughs> Woo! Hangover face, shroom face, all of that, all in one. It's great. Living my best motherfucking life, Mom. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.